the neurologist looked looked at me in the eyes and I just instantly knew it was I knew what it was and my, my first thought was don't say it you know my wife my son are in the room you know they're not ready for this so it was a it was a horrible day you know probably the worst day of my life so um, the worst thing was I felt like I was putting my family through this we waited a week to tell our second daughter because she was going through her exams for senior year of high school and we didn't want to tell her during exam week. My mind just was just wandering of all these horrible things. You know, what, how long am I going to be able to work? How are we going to afford this disease? Um, the horrible things I'm going to put my family through. My wife's going to have to take care of me. You know, the, the, the worst thing is they tell you when you get diagnosed, you know, there's nothing we can do for you. As compassionately as they can, they tell you that. Um, we can't stop it. We can't cure it. Uh, we're just here to make you comfortable. You know, go home, get your life in order. And you're trying to be strong for your family, for your children. Uh, I'm trying to be strong for my wife, let them know it's going to be okay. And knowing that it's not, that it's going to get worse. My wife's taken over a lot of my responsibilities, especially at home. And she cleaned out the garage the other day. That was my job. She does all the landscaping, all the yard work, you know, all the little things that it was just my job as the husband and the father. I woke up one day. I was still in this funk, still in this horrible mood, uh, not sleeping, just not thinking clearly. And my wife said, you know what? You just got to get out of bed every morning. You have to live your life. You have to live for today, enjoy today, and we'll worry about tomorrow, tomorrow. And that kind of snapped me out of it. And that, that's what we do. Um, we enjoy today.